Cleveland's Loveless Water. I'm Fox 4 meteorologist Fred Eric. This morning, we've got some showers around town, all thanks to the cold front that moved far enough south yesterday to give us some late day rain right near sunset. Well, this morning, that frontal boundary is still sitting over the southern part of the state, and it's enough to get some streaky showers moving through and to keep our cloud cover pretty thick here this morning. From Lake Okeechobee all the way out through the Lee Islands, as we put the radar into motion, you can see these showers actually picking up a little bit in coverage and intensity. No lightning, no thunder. That's key here early, and just as fast as the showers develop, they fizzle out. You can see that one there along Pine Ridge Road just north of downtown Naples, splitting into two and weakening. And same idea out towards the lake. We have some pretty good downpours near Immokalee and around Gateway. We had some showers develop. They quickly dissipated near Lehigh and we've got another one starting near Estero. So you get the idea. On and off showers here throughout the morning. Some heavier rain this morning uh, between Lakeport and Buckhead Ridge. And we've got some showers here along the Peace River there between Port Charlotte and Punta Gorda as well. And as we look statewide, you can see exactly where that cold front is located as it just kind of put on the brakes and stopped. And now today we're going to see our wind come out of the west. And uh, with that, very warm and humid again this morning. We're sitting in the low to mid 80s for the second straight day, well above our average of 69. And we're almost identical to where we were yesterday. Dew point values really close to 80. So not only is it warm, but extremely, extremely sticky when you step outside. That wind is near 10 miles per hour here early. And while the gusts aren't really registering yet. They will today. We'll see it 15 to 20 miles per hour. That wind will come across the state and it will take the heavier thunderstorms over towards the east coast later on this afternoon. Now the wind is not strong enough for an advisory or a caution here early as our seas will be two to three feet. Inland water is there a light chop as we look at the numbers. Our record high on the state set back just a few years ago of 97 set back in 2017 and it'd be nice to be closer to our average low, let alone the record on the state, which is 52 going back to 19. 17. So this afternoon, not too far off that average. We'll sit there in the low 90s, back in the upper 70s tonight as we run some 8 to 10 degrees above our average. We're by far one of the warmer spots in the country. South Florida and South Texas there is technically we're still on the south side of this warm front or cold front, I should say, and that's going to keep our temperatures warm and it's going to keep those showers going here on and off throughout the day with the bigger thunderstorms towards the east coast and in the Bahamas. As this front kind of washes out and lifts out for Friday, some fast moving storms up north, but we're going to be mostly dry tomorrow and hot and we get even hotter on Saturday as we will see our temperatures there in the mid 90s with relatively low rain chances. But we do see a tick up there in our rain chances to wrap up the weekend into early next week as it appears our rainy season is trying to snap into gear. You look at the extended forecast here every day above our average with some really hot stuff there as we start the weekend. So pool and beach there necessity to cool down over the weekend overnight lows staying there in the upper 70s.